Even at a Category 2, it's going to be devastation. Wind and rain and surf. With Hurricane Irene bearing down on the pristine Crystal Coast, how to survive is on everyone's mind. Hey, don't get this in Greensboro at all. Insurance agents like Keith Whitley know they're about to be swamped with claims and are already busy fielding questions about possible damage. First of all, they're calling to find out if they're covered or not for wind. Um, second, uh, they were calling to see if they could get wind if they're not covered. Up. Whitley says the wind will be bad, but he's worried about the effects of heavy rainfall. We're going to have a lot of wind damage, uh, unfortunately. Um, I think we're going to have some flood damage as well, um, depending on the, the amount of rain that we get. They're talking 17 to 20 inches of rain here. With a mandatory evacuation in place, most people have left the island and a lot of them are staying in shelters. With the mandatory evacuation, that uh, people still don't want to go far. It's up to the Salvation Army to make sure those evacuees are fed. All of our canteens have three days worth of food and we can serve out of those canteens 1,500 meals. Uh, these three shelters are capable of having uh, housing uh, 200 families. Some people, like these construction workers, are here to board up the hotels, leaving their own homes unprotected until the last minute. Windows to board up, uh, trash cans to get down, get up, uh, tree to cut down behind my house so it don't fall on my house.